gravestone of Alvin Smith, the prophet Joseph Smith's oldest brother, is located on the farthest south edge of what now is the Jonathan Swift Memorial Cemetery. At the time of his premature death, Alvin was in the midst of building the frame house for his family to repay his parents for all of their toil in raising their children and to enable them to spend their last years in some degree of comfort. One of the last things Alvin said to Joseph is you do everything you can to bring that record forth. And so it was almost a, a justification, I think, for Joseph of Alvin's death that he would uh, fulfill that last request. And Alvin becomes, you know, Joseph just loved his older brother. He was the epitome for Joseph of a Christian, um, of a good, loving man. And of course, when the minister said he would, he would be confined to hell, Joseph must just have, have been totally riddled by that. Nearly 20 years later, Joseph Smith shared his feelings at the time of Alvin's death, saying, I remember well the pangs of sorrow that swelled my youthful bosom and almost burst my tender heart when he died. He lived without spot from the time he was a child, and when he died, the angel of the Lord visited him in his last moments. Years later, on January 21, 1836, the prophet Joseph Smith and other church leaders met in the West Schoolroom on the third floor of the Kirtland Temple. The prophet Joseph Smith recorded that at that time the heavens were opened upon us, and I beheld the celestial kingdom of God. All who die without knowledge of this gospel, who would have received it, will be heirs of the kingdom of God. Mother, Alvin is not lost. And, and what a wonderful blessing as uh, Joseph later on receives the great revelation that no, just because you've died without the gospel ordinances does not mean you will be damned. And who's the great example that the Lord gives? He gives him Alvin. And that must have been a heartfelt, uh, joyous experience when um, Joseph realized that the very gospel he had restored would save that wonderful older brother who had not had the um, opportunity in mortality. Thus, the Lord chose Alvin Smith to represent the millions of souls that have passed from this life without ever having the opportunity to receive the gospel, yet will eventually receive all of the blessings that the Father has prepared for his children. <laughs>